Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and I am super excited because I'm coming back at you guys with a brand new unboxing, and this time we are taking a look at some of the stuff being released by Premium Edition Games. Up first, we got Super Blood Hockey right here. Super fun game from what I'm told. I haven't actually played it yet, but I'm very excited to do so. Then we also got the little upgrade pack for it. This was actually released after the main release. They just came out with this kind of upgrade for your collection for this to give you more of, uh, you know, that feely action. And then the brand new one that just released to end, I believe it's their Series 1, is the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. And this has got all kinds of goodies in it. It's got that huge clamshell case in it. It's got a guide in it, tons of feelies. So we are going to get this opened, check out everything that's inside of it, and I am super excited. But first, if you are new to the channel or you just haven't yet, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you get an alert every time I've got a new video coming out. And be sure to also check me out on social media at Game Dad Show. Now let's go ahead and dive in and get these things unboxed. All right, so first up here, we have Super Blood Hockey. So we're gonna go ahead and get the cellophane off of this right here, get that wrapper off, and be very careful not to, you know, mess up the box or anything like that. Just make a little nick in the plastic. Now this is the very first release from Premium Edition Games and a pretty cool title to go with for their very first release. This has gotten a, a lot of traction and is supposed to be super fun. So first thing, we open it up. Really nice sleeve, got some awesome artwork on it. Super blood hockey. And then whenever you take it out, very uh, NES style with the uh, cartridge sleeve there. Then we open up and we got the game in there. And right here you can see you got some uh, more awesome artwork rocking. You got the uh, screenshots and everything of the game. Now, one thing that is really cool about Premium Edition games is if you do something like this, an unboxing, for each series you can actually earn a special patch from them as a way of saying, hey, thanks for, you know, advertising. <laughs> so we open this up, got some more of that awesome 8-bit look in there. We've got a single trading card here. And then this is the other thing that is cool about them. They have their premium edition challenge. It has very specific instructions on it. I am not going to read them for you because you can get your own copy and do the same. But you do the challenge, you post about it on social media, and then you can actually earn a challenge patch for each game that they release, which is really cool. It's a way to really get you to interact with the game and really see what it has to offer. So we have that Super Blood Hockey Challenge card. Right here we have this awesome full color manual. I love a manual, especially a full color one. And this one, it feels very high quality, very nice. Shows everything about the game, all your controls, what's going on, and yeah, very nicely done. Feels very high quality in the hand. Excellent. And then of course we've got the game itself. All right, now, something else that they do. You can buy just the game, of course, why not? But something else is that you can get the more like premium editions, deluxe editions. So this one I believe is just called the just the classic edition of the game, I believe is what it was, where you just get the game. And then they also come out with the retro edition and the deluxe edition. So what they released after the fact for this was actually the, I believe they called this one the retro edition. And this has a little bit more stuff in it. So let's go ahead and open up that cellophane again without trying to damage everything. Let's see if I can get in here. There we go. So we're gonna, Get this all torn open. Try not to bend all the cardboard. That would be unfortunate. There we go. Cellophane gone. Now, right here we have the OST, man. The original soundtrack that gives you all of the sounds and music from Super Blood Hockey. And it looks like it comes with a couple of unused bonus tracks. Ooh, fancy. Then right here, what do we have? We have the bloody origin of the man they call the coach. So this looks like a little uh, graphic novel. Yep. Nice. So you get a little comic book with it. Very cool. 
And then right here, you actually get a like collector's edition box. So if we go ahead and put a little air in there, pop that out, and then we can get this box created. There we go. A little something nice to throw onto the shelf, and I'm assuming all of this, can it all fit in here? Yeah. So you can take your game, stick that in the box. You can take your comic, stick that in the box, and you can take your soundtrack and stick that in the box. And now you have a very nice upgrade for your Super Blood Hockey. So that is really cool. I really, I like that. That's a really nice touch. So we'll go ahead and set that one aside. And now we will get to the, the big guy. This is the deluxe edition of the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. Now, we're going to go ahead and get this sucker open because this has got all kinds of feelies in it. So, let's see here. Let's just puncture right along there, shall we? If I actually poke the plastic, it might work. There we go. And let's get the cellophane off this one. I actually got this last night and was very tempted to just open it and then recreate the unboxing, but I wanted to be true. So this <clears throat> is very nice. This feels like the outer casing to something, they, uh, like a novel or a really nice hardback book. So that's really cool. But let's go ahead and, oh, vacuum tight. Oh, get those out of there. Look at that, man. Look how thick that cardboard is. That thing is, it's got some durability to it, man. That's gonna look great on the shelf. And then we have here one great collection of four great games. And then also from, uh, what is it, uh, Wittenhagen? Yeah, Jeffrey Wittenhagen. The guy, he has done all kinds of really cool gaming related books. And on the Premium Edition Games website, they actually sell all of the Jeffrey Wittenhagen books. So if you're interested in gaming related books, definitely go check it out. But he actually did the Pigeon Dev Games Collection Premium Guide. So this I'm really excited about, and I had no idea. From the pictures, I thought it was just, you know, a paper book. But no, this is an actual hardcover book, and it even has a, wow, look at that. I don't know how well that comes across in the video, but it's actually got uh, like the uh, silver foil along the edges of the pages. It's got a nice uh, little like string bookmark here. All right, let's crack that seal. Ooh, premium edition. Nice. Oh wow, yeah, look how look how fresh that is, man. Look at this, look at this. It's actually separating out that nice little foil seal in there. Ooh, excellent. Let's see, oh, and that's one of the devs. All right, I'm not gonna go through every page of this, of course, but it's pretty sick. It. Uh, it's a full guide to everything. It's got maps, tells you what to do. It's got speed run timings. This is this is really cool, and I'm gonna I'm gonna break the seal on all of those. Oh, crunchy! That is oddly satisfying. Whew. All right, let's get that out of the way. Now we have the actual Pigeon Dev Games Collection clam shell. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Oh, clamshell. And then inside, what do we got? We have a pin. It is a little TV. Oh, wow. And it's like three-dimensional. I forget what these kind of pins are called, like a, a type of enamel pin. Um, but excellent. It's got some sort of little character, I'm assuming from this. Then we open this. Oh, and look right there. Okay, we have our OST. And holy cow, it's got 77 minutes and 4 seconds of songs on here. So you have Awesome P, Awesome P2, Bucket Knight, and Explosive Jake. Those are the four games that come in the collection. I'm going to go ahead and put the clamshell to the side, which, by the way, also very high quality, just like the rest of this. And here we have the dev collection. Now... The deluxe edition came with the guide, the clamshell, a couple extra feelies, stuff like that, the really nice outer case for it. And then you have the retro edition, which would be right here, which is like that version of Super Blood Hockey. So 
we're gonna go ahead and open this. I hope they come out with like a, uh, how they did the retro upgrade for Super Blood Hockey. It'd be cool if they do a deluxe upgrade, get a couple more things to go with it. I think they're gonna start offering those for all games moving forward when they get to, I believe it's, they're calling it Series 2 is the next set of games coming out. So we got that cellophane off. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. What do we got? Well, first off, I didn't jack up the tab, so, you know, bonus. What all we got in here? Okay, that's empty. Now, here we have the actual game, just the uh, base edition of it. But one of the cool things that comes with this is a steel book. I love me some steel books. And if you look at the back of this, if it comes through, yeah, it looks like it's coming through on camera. Looks like the uh, back of an old TV, huh? Yeah, like that, old TV. That's because on the front of it, it's a TV. That has got to be one of the coolest steel books, and it is a official Nintendo steel book. Oh, whoa, the inside of it. Oh, that's freaking cool, man. The inside of it is actually, okay, like, there's the back of the TV. There's the front of the TV. You open this up, and on the inside, it's showing, like, where the front is. It's turned on its side. That's the actual, like, innards of the TV, and it's showing, like, the tube right here, and it's showing all the electronics. That's really neat. And they even paid attention to the orientation. So it's like flip the TV on its side and there's the tube right there. That part's kind of hard to see, but wow, this steel book is gorgeous, man. It looks like a uh, like an old video game, honestly. So Pigeon Dev Games Collection it shows Awesome Pete 1 and 2. It shows Bucket Knight on there, Explosive Jake. You got all the different little characters, all of that. I'm assuming these are the Awesome Peas. And that's Bucket Knight, and that's Explosive Jake, I would assume. I actually haven't played these games before. Wow, that is that has got to be one of the nicest steelbooks that I have ever seen. And I have quite a few steelbooks now. So that is really freaking cool. I like that. I'm going to put that back into its little uh, protective sleeve here. And now on to the game. So here we have this. We are going to cut the cellophane. Let's get that unwrapped. Well, that one opened easier. And I don't know if you saw it on Super Blood Hockey. It had a big 01. Here is the big 02, because this is their second game. And we're gonna take that out. And another game cartridge sleeve. Excellent. Oh, and I just noticed, yeah, it actually has the name of what uh, it goes to. So it is a for this game only kind of sleeve. So we're gonna open this game up. And in this game, what do we got? We have Pigeon Dev Games Collection by Premium Edition Games. Shows screenshots of the four on there. Now, one thing I noticed that is not on either of these, and I, I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it, they are not numbered on the spines. Like, I have uh, uh, the entire collection of the uh, uh, Super Rare games, and they're all numbered. Now, on one hand, it's nice because they're all numbered, cool, but I can't have them like alphabetical because I wanna keep all the numbers together. So that's why it's like, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I can see that it's all premium edition. It says PE down on the bottom of the spine. Um, and I guess, you know, I could just put them anywhere as long as it's alphabetical in there because, you know, organization rules. Um, but that's interesting. So, you know, the little sleeve for it is definitely numbered, but the spine of the game isn't numbered. Interesting choice there. Now we open this up, we have the challenge card for Pigeon Dev Games Collection, and we have their full color manual. It shows everything about all the games. There's Awesome P1, it's going through, showing controls, little overworld action, Awesome P2, more controls. What do we got next? Bucket Knight. These all look epic. I'm totally down. Wait, what does that say? Even knights still have to pay taxes, loons, and alimony. <laughs> Help unnamed but brave knight in his sacred mission to find the Holy Grail and make some money. Nice. Sounds like my kind of knight. And then Explosive Jake. Help the little pyromaniac skeleton explode his way from a dark dungeon and not blow himself up in the process. What if I want to blow him up? Very cool. Nice full color manual. And again... As per the usual, of course, the game itself. So we'll go ahead and throw that back in. I cannot wait to check out what I'm supposed to do with these challenges. 
Nice. These are going to be awesome. So let's close that up. We'll put this back into where it goes here. In these unboxings, I like to make sure we get everything put back so you can see it all back in its final product again. I'm going to go there. It's like Inception. You take the game, put it in the case, put the case inside of the slot holder, put the slot holder inside of the sleeve, put the sleeve inside of the actual little other box holder thing, then take that, put it inside of this. Good lord, there's a lot of levels to this. Put that in there, close that, then take that and this and put those in there. There is, there is a lot of layers to this. Holy cow. And Dunskis. So, we got Super Blood Hockey and we got Pigeon Dev Games Collection and these are super awesome. I cannot wait to see the new things that they have coming out. And if you haven't checked them out yet, definitely go do that. So there you have it, everyone. That is everything that comes with Super Blood Hockey and with the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. This is the base game with its retro upgrade, and this is the deluxe edition of Pigeon Dev Games Collection, and I really hope they come out with like a deluxe add-on for this one, because that would look uh, pretty sick on the shelf. Now, if you want to be able to get these, they are running super low on their orders, but definitely go check them out. That is Premium Edition Games. Now, I also want to say this video is in no way sponsored by Premium Edition Games or anything like that. I picked these up and was really excited, wanted to do an unboxing because it's not often that you see really cool and really high quality collector's editions coming out anymore. And even if you do, sometimes they don't even come with the game. Didn't that happen with a Resident Evil a few years back? It came with like a thousand dollar keyboard that was a piece of junk. But anyways, these, not a piece of junk. These are awesome. And they have ways to keep you engaged and keep you going back for more. You can get patches for showing off, you know, what you picked up. You can get patches for completing challenges for each of the games. And that is a really cool concept and something that I haven't seen from any of these other like limited run, super rare, super limited, any of these kind of other companies. Premium Edition Games is the first that I'm aware of that actually does something like that to keep you interacting with them even longer. Now, if you like today's video, please let me know down in the comments below. Have you picked up anything from Premium Edition Games? Do you think you're going to go pick up something now? I would love to hear about it. And while you're down there, please be sure to also hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I've got a new video coming out. If you like what I do here and you are interested in becoming a monthly Patreon supporter, please be sure to check out the links in the description below. And down there you will also find the links to all of my socials as well as if you guys want to pick up any kind of Game Dad merch, we have the link for that in the description below as well. Now as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.